healing the racial divide in Akron. During the 1970s in Akron, urban renewal took the form of a highway construction project called the Interbelt Freeway Urban Renewal Project. The Interbelt Freeway failed to live up to its expectations of stimulating Akron's downtown and instead created a divide in the city reinforcing racial inequity and inequality. The division of the northern and southern areas of the city cut off predominantly black neighborhoods from downtown Akron, destroyed businesses, and displaced thousands. This short documentary will explain the story and the repercussions of the 1970 Interbelt Freeway and how the city present day plans on repairing the damage that was done. With the establishment of large companies such as Goodyear Tire Company in Akron, those who took part of the Great Migration during the 1920s came to Akron to settle in hopes for a better life and better opportunities. Unfortunately, they were met with heinous forms of racism and discrimination, which was only accentuated by the strong presence of the KKK. The black community in Akron had to fight for equality amongst housing, education, and employment, but inevitably were deferred to live in undesirable neighborhoods and denied decent paying jobs. In the 1960s, Akron experienced white flight, further enhancing the intense segregation of the city. Hundreds of white families flocked to the suburbs with the hopes to avoid the city and the black population. The suburbanization of Akron led to an automobile-dependent transportation system and diminished downtown Akron, triggering the idea for the Interbelt Freeway Urban Renewal Project. Across America, from 1940 to 1974, urban renewal plans took the shape of highway construction projects. These projects intended to bring life back to cities throughout the country, trying to reverse the effects the suburban sprawl had on them. Ultimately, many of these projects were unsuccessful and incomplete because federal funding dried up, which can be credited to high prices and high unemployment during the 1970s. This exact scenario occurred in Ohio in hopes to revitalize the dying city of Akron. The Interbelt Freeway was first proposed in 1960. The proposal was to create a five mile long highway linking two freeways and connecting the suburbs to downtown Akron. The plan was to clear neighborhoods that were seen as deteriorating during the process and save those that were seen as good, in other words, the white neighborhoods. The Interbelt Freeway Urban Renewal Project intentionally tore straight through black neighborhoods, specifically Douglas Street, Bell Street, Howard Street, and Berry Avenue. These neighborhoods were thriving at the time, full of life, culture, black homes, and businesses, but were purposefully demolished because they were deemed hazardous or seen as blighted conditions. This urban renewal project was a total failure and created more problems than it solved. The freeway was supposed to connect the northbound Ohio Route Expressway, but that never happened. In fact, only four of the five miles were ever actually completed because of the lack of funding towards the end of construction. Because the freeway failed to connect the two highways together, it was nicknamed the Road to Nowhere. The estimated daily rate of cars using the highway was also severely overestimated at 120,000 cars a day, but in actuality less than 18,000 cars use the freeway each day. The total cost for this project was estimated around $90 million, and its biggest accomplishment was saving those driving on Interstate 77 less than a minute and a half of driving. The Interbelt Freeway also heavily encouraged racial segregation in Akron. It managed to create an almost perfect divide between the black and white neighborhoods, and when asked to reroute the freeway so that businesses and homes could be spared, the city refused. In 2017, the Akron Interbelt Freeway was finally decommissioned and the beginning of the Oak Park Renewal Project took place. The main goal of this project was to reconnect the Oak Park neighborhood back to downtown Akron where it was previously cut off at. This project also aimed to make the intersection along the SR-59 corridor safer for vehicular and pedestrian traffic. Other aspects of this urban renewal plan included the implementation of new storm sewers and water lines, as well as new street lighting and traffic signals. Since the decommissioning of the freeway, there are about 30 acres of land that have been reclaimed by the city, and Akron officials and developers are open to proposals. Because this is an ongoing project, one of the proposals was actually given a trial run. Residents of the Akron area voiced their opinions for creating a public green space or park, so a temporary forest was installed on top of the abandoned freeway. It was called the Interbelt National Forest, and it had potted plants and trees, trails, and an outdoor green space for different activities and services. 
This forest was up and running for two months, creating a shared space for those who live in the West Hill neighborhood, which included the Oak Park neighborhood. The city of Akron has also created a vision and redevelopment plan that will be implemented over the course of 10 years. In order to improve the livelihood and connectivity of downtown Akron, as well as fostering new investments, the city has highlighted five focus areas, one of them being the Interbelt Freeway. The revision plan for Route 59 intends to create a new urban green space, neighborhood connections, residential infill, mixed-use development, medical mixed-use, and a gateway to National Park. The addition of green space to this region will not only make this once dangerous area pedestrian friendly, but also allow for environmental friendly developments such as green stormwater infrastructure. The racially driven urban renewal project from the 1970s created a divide in Akron that is still present today. The use of transportation or highway construction as a tool for racial segregation was a common occurrence in America. All across the country, undesirable homes and neighborhoods were raised and replaced with physical barriers separating people of color from white communities. Akron is just one city of many that still suffers from its past and is in the process of correcting it.